Hey guys, Danny here and welcome to my little corner of the internet. After I released my video last week, I realized that I missed a very important point that every musician really needs to know. And that is copyright in order to protect their music. So that's what we're going to talk about this week. Coming up! Before we get started, it is very important to realize that copyright laws are different in every single country. And today I'm just going to be talking about the copyright laws and how they apply here in Canada. But if you live in a different country, your country will have its own version of the copyright laws. Most of them are mainly the same, but there will be some different tweaks between country to country. If you have any questions about your specific country, let me know in the comment section down below and I will answer any questions you may have in regards to your specific country. So copyright is a set of laws and protections that a country puts for its citizens in order to protect their intellectual property. So for us, that would be to protect our music. They do this in order to foster creativity because if someone were to create something and could just be very easily stolen by someone else, it reduces the amount of things that are created amongst the citizens of a nation. Copyright takes effect the moment you create something. So for us in regards to music, that means as soon as we write a song, that song is protected under copyright. What's great about our copyright protections is that it not only covers the composition of a song, but it also covers live performances as well as recorded performances of that same music. And you don't need to register in order to get your copyright. Because your copyright is automatically placed on anything that you create, if someone infringes upon that copyright, you can go after them for copyright infringement, even though you don't have it registered. But especially for music, I think it's better to register everything that you make in terms of your music. This is because when you do register it with the copyright office, it kind of backs up your claim that someone's infringing upon your copyright because it is registered. So it makes it a lot easier to fight if someone infringes upon your copyright if you have registered it. Now all copyrights last the lifespan of the creator plus 50 years here in Canada. Like I mentioned before, it might be different in some other countries, but here in Canada it's for the lifespan of the creator plus 50 years. So, 50 years after the creator of a work dies, the copyright is no longer valid and that work goes into the public domain. That means that anyone can use it for whatever they want, whenever they want it, without penalty. Another way that artists can protect themselves and their copyrights for their musical works is to actually register their song with the Canadian Song Vault. Now what this does is actually registers a recording of the music that you've created, which will help when someone tries to infringe on your copyright, you have proof of the entirety of the song so that you can easily prove your copyright infringement. Now, the copyright office, all that it registers for your copyright is the title of the song and your name as the creator, which is why I highly suggest that you use the Canadian Song Vault because if you end up having to go to court over things like this, because you have the whole recording of the song copyrighted, if they steal any bits or pieces of the song, it's much, much easier to prove infringement. So there you have it. That's basically all you need to know about copyright laws here in Canada. I am gonna leave links down below to where you can register your copyrights with the Copyright Office, as well as um, the Canadian Song Vault, so you can register your music there as well, and some additional information in the description down below. So be sure to check that out and save both the Canadian Song Vault and the Copyright Office's like links so that you can always copyright every single song that you ever make. It's just always in your best interest. And lastly, I just want to thank everyone for the support that I have been getting lately. My YouTube channel has gained a lot of subscribers, so if you're new here, hi, welcome. Um, it's gotten to the point where actually I am, as of recording this video, one subscriber away from hitting 100 subscribers, and I'm super excited and very thankful for it. 
If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. It really does help the channel. And if you found value in this video, consider subscribing. I will see you guys next week. Bye!